Time to make beer. All right, guys, so I'm here at the brewery. I'm gonna go ahead and do my install. See Tim, oh, there's Tim over there creeping up behind me. What's up, man? This is Tim, the brewery owner. If you're in uh, Hudson, Florida, come check him out, Craft Life. All right, so what we're doing today is we're gonna go ahead and just install some brackets right here on these uh, windows that are cut into this cut into this Connex box. And basically what the brackets are gonna do is they're just gonna hold an AC up kind of like that. And Tim is gonna be using this as you can see, it has it all insulated. Oh, it's already got kegs in it. And then they're washed and ready to go. Oh, clean kegs. He's gonna, <laughs> Tim's gonna be using this as a uh, keg storage, a cooler. So basically what these bars do is they go on these this roller system that hangs on this, and then a winch goes onto that, and then what Tim will do is use the winch to lift his pots, tilt them, and uh, drain them, and do whatever he needs to do for the brewing process, which I really don't know much about, so. So this was somebody else's design. I'm just coming in here and trying to clean up the mess and make it work. Um, here's some pictures of what the welder previous to me left. So as you can see, Tim was left in bad hands. I was able to rein it back and we pretty much got him taken care of. And after this session, we got it done. Listen, if it lifts up and gets stuck like that, I know, this is great, this is great. You know what I could do? Weird fucking design. You know what I could do? No. I Cut two rounded pieces and put them at either side, so if it does, it's only minimal. It can only go up like maybe half of an inch. And you mean up brown. here? Yeah, but they make them round and so don't dig into your aluminum so much. That's not, that's something I could do. I could blow those out real quick with a torch and then just weld them onto that piece of steel. Is that what you think? Yeah, we, before we put all this together? I'm just trying to come up with a solution so it's too. not moving for you. I wish we had a wheel. Yeah, I, can't, I, I wish I had a wheel. A wheel. Yeah, yeah, we could do a that. A wheel. I wish there was a wheel. No, we could do that. You can get a couple of, we'll get a couple of casters and we can weld the casters. Right? That's a good yeah. idea. So now that we've solved the problem of Tim's uh, tilty uh, winch set up there, we're going to go ahead and start welding these things in, the uh, AC bracket holders, while he runs out and grabs some casters. All this stuff I fabricated for the brewery I did the day before in my little home shop. Here's a couple clips of that. I really love this jig table and these fireball square tools. It just makes making things like these little brackets so much quicker. Today I got pretty lucky. Well, you see how I did that. Sometimes you just got to get it done. I guess you can one hand it. <laughs> I was like, how's he gonna do? That's what I was afraid. I was like, I can just hold it for him next
That's it. You want to uh, try sliding that AC in there? Yeah, I mean, I got a couple. They're two different ones, but I got one now. So now we're going to take these and use them as shades on the top of his AC just to try to keep the sun off. We're going to slip the AC in first just to make sure we have enough spacing for the shades and everything to fit in there nicely. Tim's got the AC. You need a hand or you got that? I will need a hand. Okay, we'll get it up there. Fuck the things heavy as shit. We'll go that one first, yeah. yeah. Fucking old. So that's the little one, that's what we're doing that's there. The little one. And we'll get the, the big, big heavy one. one. We'll get the big one in now. <laughs> you got your video. Oh, really not really. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Is that okay, Harry? You must have a heavy side. You huh? need the motors on your side. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, I was like, I was like, it's really that heavy. Oh, fuck, it's really that. I'm like, you tell me it's heavy. I'm like, yeah, that's See how much tighter this one is? Yeah, it fits like perfect. Yeah. So I can always buy another one of these. That's how it should be. So I may buy another one of these brand for that side. Oh yeah, you know? That, that's fine, right there. Look, freaking nail it on the top, nail it on the top. It ain't going anywhere. We do the same thing with the other one, we just measure the height. Because this one, this may become a, that little thing. I'm realizing that thing's just a good fly. <laughs> I'm putting this thing right here. No offense. So they can't come back here. I don't need them to come back here. I'm actually, later on, hopefully kicking something up there. Where I can like throw old pegs over here. I have one in the trash right now. You want it? Yeah. Yeah, I need a rod bucket. So Tim's going to be cool enough to let me have one of his old kegs and I'm going to turn it into a rod bucket for when I'm doing my, my junk rods, you know. Because I keep losing them. I don't think I'll lose this one. Sweet. Oh, you it's can do whatever you want with it. Sweet. Yeah, I'll split that right in the middle and then hmm. I'll turn that into a rod bucket. Yeah, I mean, it'll work on both sides too. Yeah, I'll probably split it so that the, I can keep the Naples Brewery. That's why I know, Naples Beach Brewery. They're on burnt. It. They're gone. Everybody's gone. Yeah, no, I just like the. But if you it's, cut it's it, different. yeah, if you cut it and then you had it up flipped upside down, you could weld the two together and have two buckets. That's awesome. And they're stuck together. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate that. No problem, man. That's gonna be cool. I won't lose this rod bucket. <laughs> do to remedy Tim's problem with the tilting is we're just going to weld, tack weld these little wheels on each end of these. So we just got four wheels to tack weld on and that should be it. And then we'll stick around and make sure this works out for him. So it's gonna work out well. Yeah. Sweet. I think so. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, come on, man. Talk about ingenuity and rigging, right? Well, as long as it works. Well, Tim predicted it. The wheels he picked up were just a little too light duty, so here's a picture of what we ended up doing a little later on. He took this apart, brought it to my shop, and I welded this new wheel on. Here comes the test to make sure. So what is that you're putting in there, Tim? That's this, the mash pot? Yeah, this is the mash pot. Okay. We'll actually put all the grain in here and soak it inside the, uh, inside the water okay. for 60 minutes. And it'll convert the sugars to the starches to sugars. Okay. Yeah. And you need and you need this gantry basically for that mash pot. And this is where you're gonna do your brewing basically. Yeah, for both of them. Okay. Cool. Now we can double our size that we have. So now we're up to six barrels. Nice. So I, I actually repaired this for Tim 
we, we yeah. lengthened this. It was uh, wrong originally, so I fixed that. Really I made this taller because it was wrong, and uh, look. it looks like it's going to work. Sweet. Yeah. That's what Tim was concerned about right there with the, the whole design. And you can see why that needed to be stable. Yeah, you see why, and you see why this, yeah, you see why this has to be, so you're talking four or five hundred pounds of grain on it. Yeah. Right? So that's why the wheel is so important that we weld it on there. Time to make beer. <laughs> Me and my girl glasses. <laughs> that's cool, man. Nice job. Well, I'm Melton Metal Anthony. I knocked this thing out for Tim. What do you think, Tim? Are we good to go? It's a great job. It's great. Fantastic. Good stuff. And go check Craft Life Brewery out. If you're out in Hudson and you want to stop for a beer, come see my man Tim. I mean, he really makes the best beers in the area. And I'm not just saying that because he stands here. He's standing here. He really, he really does make a very good beer. Thank you. And he's the guy who makes them all. He's about to start distribution. We're all very excited for that. Thanks. So if you see it in store, what were the flavors going to be? Uh, right now we're going to have a peach pale ale and we're going to have a watermelon uh, blow pop sour at the moment and we're going to try to get a hazy out there at the same time. How many beers do you keep on tap again? Uh, 27 to 30. 27 to 30. This man is brewing 27 to 30 beers and I, and I mean I've drank a, quite a few of them because Tim's a generous guy and <laughs> I liked all of them. I mean they were great. So uh, yeah come check it. I'm actually going to walk into the, uh, into the, yeah, go the for tasting it. area. I mean you can see the, all the, the different all the different names. I mean, that's what he has in stock right now. I mean, you'll see my man Tim here if you come in and, and decide to stop for a beer. So, Tim's gonna. It's time for one now. <laughs> All the hard work's done, so it's time for one, right? Ah, uh, blue. Perfect timing. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys. If you like what you saw here today, subscribe, like, share, do the whole nine. I'll catch you next time.